we're going to start this video with a hint, a hint of who I took up, at least the class. So I got this. I was surprised when I looked in my um, crystals and saw that I had this gem. I must have got it for completing uh, 7.2. All right. And we got a skill, a skill rank up gem. So that is your hint. It is a skill champion. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. And if you think you can guess who I took up, leave a comment below and let me know what your guess is. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Elsa Bloodstone. Yes. So um, I've talked about Elsa. And I've said before that she's a pretty good champion, and, and I believe she's underrated. There are people who have taken her uh, to rank four, even. And uh, that should tell you that she's got something to offer. Now, you don't see me using her very often. Uh, I did want to take her at least to rank two. Um, I don't know if I'll take her to rank three anytime real soon, but... She's actually a pretty decent champion. Uh, I used her in the past. There was a, um, I don't remember which uh, act it was or, or which encounter it was, but basically it was a, an opponent that evaded a lot. And they were also incinerate immune. And she puts on a coal snap if she can't put on an incinerate and that cold snap stopped the evading. So she was actually one of the top uh, choices for a counter for that particular uh, encounter. So she does have some utility. She has decent damage, uh, not crazy, a uh, good damage you'll, you'll see, but she does have a little bit of utility. So uh, we're not going to go into her abilities or anything like that right now. Um, I do need to get back into uh, making those kind of videos for both of our sakes because I need to learn some of these uh, newer champions uh, so that I can use them to their fullest. Uh, I have made a few videos on some of my more favorite champions like Hercules, uh, who's not that difficult uh, to use. Now, what I want to show you guys here is one of the reasons that I chose Elsa. All right, so I'm going to filter this by my six stars that I don't own that are skill champions. And look, of these that I don't have, there are a few that I would rank up to three. Okay, um, Black Cat, when I do get her, probably is gonna go up to rank three. Uh, but who knows when that's gonna be. Uh, but very few of the others I would take to rank three. You know, so... Elsa to rank two. I am trying to get some of my champions, uh, six stars to rank two uh, to help me out in the arena. You get more points for rank twos a little bit, just a little bit. All right. So let's head over into Realm of Legends and see what she can do. All right. Before we go in, let's take a look at the synergies that I have active here. All right. So we've got this first synergy, Beauty and the Beast, uh, the cooldown for Elsa's evade counter attack is reduced by two seconds, okay? Um, we've got more crit rating with the uh, Scarlet Witch synergy. This one here is a very good one, Tigra. Um, enhanced ammunition debuffs last 4.0 seconds longer. Additionally, when fighting on the last node in a quest, opponents can't evade true strike or true accuracy. That's not going to come into play while we're fighting Winter Soldier, but that uh, Ammunition's debuff will. And then we've got one here with Misty Knight. Uh, all busted debuffs have their durations increased by 15%. Okay, so all of that should be a little bit more damage. Okay, so let's go on in here. 
Now, I am running suicides. And one thing about Elsa, she's one of the few champions that truly benefits from having suicides. As long as she's bleeding and they're not a mutant champion, you see that there's a debuff on them. As long as that bleed is there. Anytime she's bleeding, all right? There we go, debuff is gone. See my evade? That evade counter reduction is, is useful. Oh, he tried to sneak me. Okay, she's doing some pretty good damage. Let's hit him with a special one. Okay, not too bad. That evade is nasty though. I'm also um, maxed out on my deep wounds. I don't think that's gonna come into play here. I don't think. Yeah, no. I thought I saw a bleed, but she just does incinerate. We're gonna hit him with a special three. And can I say that I like her special three animation? Look at this, just. Oh! Oh my goodness. That just looks awesome. That just looks awesome. So remember that she's a rank two, but her damage is, is fairly decent. You know, it's not the best, it's not the worst. And her utility is quite nice. Have a little of my special too. And that's pretty much gonna be the fight over. So let's see what, uh, what the stats look like at the end of the fight here. Okay, so you can see my Liquid Courage uh, double edge were doing some damage to me, recoil damage, of course. Um, but she did some good basic attack damage and her incinerate did some decent work as well. Okay, you see how much the incinerate, special attacks, basic attacks, all that good stuff. Biggest hit, 11,828. Um, I didn't get hit at all, 121 successful hits. And the fight lasted almost two minutes. So definitely not the fastest, but fairly decent. And of course, it'll go even faster the higher she is ranked. Uh, and again, she has some nice utility as well. All right, so that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.